reinforcements were even offered, even though the siege lasted an additional two months. Your entire Virginia Continental Line was forced to surrender there. Now, how could this have happened, you might ask? General Lincoln was betrayed. Betrayed by your rebel government! Traitor! Adam, you've made your point clear. You own me to be a traitor. I dare say all present own me to be a traitor. Is that correct? Yes! Well, dear friends, I shall answer your accusation with the truth. A true showing of the kindness of your leaders. For back in 77, at the beginning of the hardship known as Valley Forge, Congress authorized a sumptuous banquet to close out the year as a reward for the brave lads who fought so fiercely in the Continental Army. And what do you think they offered as a reward to these brave lads, madam? They offered each and every man a half a cup of rice and a tablespoon of vinegar. Who is your traitor now, madam? I say it is those who sit and dine comfortably in Philadelphia, while the poor, the penniless, the shoeless soldier is forced to dine upon their feast of a half a cup of rice and a tablespoon of vinegar. Let me ask you all this. How many of you were persuaded to rebel because of unjust taxes, hmm? Come now, be honest. There you are. Yet now, my dear friends, you pay more than 100 times that amount than you did before the war. You and I have been persuaded to rebel because of the supposed injustice delivered us by far away lords. Yet nearer lords continue to deliver injustice. Your economy is in ruins. You have no imports or exports. Your larders are empty. Your officers are corrupt and seek their own glory. And you, dear citizens of Virginia, you have all been misled. If I may, General. Colonel Douglas. At least we're not English. We now know from Continental soldiers who have crossed over to join our ranks that your army is no more. It is without pay, without provisions. It is without discipline. It is now nothing but a mob and a rabble. So where then is your freedom? Where is this promised independence? It is with union. Union with Great Britain. Oh, I, so you want us to forget the past. Your past, but you, sir, turned coat. You, 